Hey everybody and welcome back to Amanda Marie NP, where on this channel I am on a journey getting my nurse practitioner. So if you're new here, I make all kinds of videos in reference to healthcare in general, nursing school, LPN, RN, STNA, and of course nurse practitioner information. So today we're going to talk tanner stages. Maybe you're preparing to take your ANP or your ANCC, and if so, this is going to be a concept that you need to master. But don't worry, it's simple. Tanner stages have five different stages for males and females. So ladies first. Stage two for girls is when pubic hair starts to form and it is straight and breast buds are present. In stage three, breast buds and one mound is noted and that straight pubic hair turns into curly pubic hair. And in stage four, you will find breast buds and two mounds and this is when the period begins in girls. So two, three, and four in girls is super simple. Now in tanner stages for boys, you will see one similarity here and that's that the straight pubic hair begins in stage two and the testes and scrotum begin to enlarge in stage two for boys. In stage three, if you hold up your hand, you will notice that your middle finger is the longest. And if you notice that it is the finger in the middle, number finger number three, it's the longest. So you can remember that the penis grows in length in Tanner stage three for the boys. And this is when that pubic hair begins to turn curly. Lastly, again, if you're looking at your hand, fingers two, three, and four put together are wider if they are put together. So this is going to help you to remember that this is where the penis widens in Tanner stage four for boys. I inserted a couple of pictures here so that you can see a visual with what is happening in the female Tanner stages as it pertains to the breast tissue and the pubic hair, as well as a visual aid for you for male Tanner stages as well so that you can visually see what is occurring. So as you can see, Tanner stages are very simple for females and males. I hope this video was helpful for you in helping you to remember the differences in the Tanner stages. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this to help you with your board exam.